what a beautiful morning, oh what a beautiful day. I've got plenty of sunshine, everything's going my way. Everything's going our way when you are in tune with love. Nothing seems to really go regularly your way when we're not in tune with love. So once again on Love Force Revolution Love Streaming Live morning show, we focus on one thing and one thing alone, and that is love. We also focus on who we really are, a transcendent, immortal soul that's untouched, that's imperturbable, that isn't, isn't phased by the change. Nothing can ruffle the feathers of a soul. Nothing can get the goat, which is the peace, of that imperturbable peace of the soul. Nothing can destroy, hurt, burn, kill the light of the soul. We are a transcendent soul. And so transcendence is really the name of the game. But for transcendence to rise above the condition, to rise above the addictions, to rise above our phobias and fears, is going to take quite a commitment. It's going to take quite a commitment that only you can make for you. That only you can make for who you really are, but maybe are faked out in thinking that you are something other than who you really are, you know, like a human, like mind thoughts and emotional feelings and desires for this and for that. When honestly, honestly, it's really good news. On this last day of the year 2016, please, please take into your heart of hearts that it is insanely good news and always good news. Please, please, could you put a big smile on that face of yours? You are so beautiful. You are so magnificent. You are so everlasting. You're so hero and heroine. You are one of a kind. You are one with the universe. We are the light of the soul. So let's just affirm we are that we are and we're all that we are. And if we're committed to remembering who we are, to waking up to who we are, to doing whatever is necessary to be true <laughs> to our true nature, how's that? Just truth. It's just truth. We're just talking truth and love. And we're talking about, you know, come on, baby doll, let's get it going. Only you can rev it up. Only you can do what is necessary to get done. And that is to transcend this duality, to transcend even your own thoughts, to transcend even all of your desires, to transcend all the hurts and even the, even the open bleeding wounds that you still have because you get hurt in this duality, because you got faked out in thinking that you are limited and in thinking that you are just the thoughts and that you are needy and you are this and things aren't going your way. It's just a total fake out, man. All right? It's chronic. It's called chronic ignorance. It's called chronic thoughts. It's called chronic ignorant thoughts. And it's a chronic depression. Not on this watch. Not on this station. Because we put, we put a commitment down here. That we're going to do whatever we can in our little way to love each other, to respect each other, to give it the best shot we have inside of ourselves while we come to this love stream, to be open to receive whatever we can receive in the terms of the truth, for the light and the love and the energy. Because that download, my friend, is endless download. It's an endless blessing coming into you. Come on, don't be an ingrate. <laughs> what is an ingrate? <clears throat> Someone who's not grateful. Someone who, who, who's taking life for granted. Someone who's entitled. So entitled that you let yourself get negative. And then you start talking nasty stuff to people. But mostly you're abusing yourself with that nasty self-talk, babe. Come on. 
No, that's called total entitlement. That's called total self-centeredness. That's called closing out all the doors of any light to come in, any kind of health, any kind of uh, uh, improvement in your life. It just slams it shut. But we open all the shutters here, right? This is what we do. And when M60 gets on, like M60 just did, Raptor God was on yesterday, opening up all the shutters. And of course, Clark comes in and it's like the sun's coming in, even though she lives in a place where it's, it's not so sunny most of the time. She comes in and the sun is out. <laughs> Good morning, Clark. Love is the bridge to the door of our hearts. Absolutely. We're getting over our chronic stuff here this morning, kids. You know, it's just this routine, chronic stuff that we're getting over, whether it's fear, whether it's negativity, whether it's not feeling so good about yourself, not feeling so good about it. And this person and our world and all that, that's just a chronic hypnosis. And in a moment when love, when the sun comes in, man, when the sun comes up, the darkness disappears. It's so still. In the early dawn, when the first light kisses my soul, and it's so still and so beautiful, when the first light kisses my soul. It's so still in the early dawn when the first light kisses my soul. Just feel that beautiful divine light, invisible, intangible, but more real than anything in this, in this world could ever be. The light that is behind the darkness, the light that's inside your atoms right now and inside the rocks and everything that's inanimate and animate is just this beautiful light and it's kissing your soul right now right isn't that beautiful the first light I love the first light of the day anyway the morning because it does that it's special energies in the transition periods of the day the energy in the morning at noon it's just there's true vitality if you want to trap tap into that vitality you can drink joy at noon have your have your joy drink at noon at, at even tide when the sun's setting that is another deep time where you welcome peace into your heart and then midnight in the deep Deep hours of stillness of the night. Ooh, man, that's when the soul can commune with its with its beloved. It can commune with the Creator. Now, listen. This last day of 2016, you take all of that times a trillion, and you have a transition period into a new life. Tomorrow represents midnight tonight. Midnight 01 represent a new life, and you are preparing for a new life. You're you're preparing for this for the magnificence of the sun to be out for you. The sun of love, the sun of life, the sun of awakening, the sun of truth. Mm, you are so special. You guys, thank you so much. Maya G, welcome. Marley Love, woo, yeah, Marcy. Your, your soul is so wise. It got you on this love stream, everyone, this morning, M60 and Raptor, and anyone else who's viewing from the balcony seats. Man, my hat's off to you. Anyone who jumps on this love line, I think it's the morning show on the planet. I do. I believe every soul needs this channel. I, it needs the sun. It needs the light. It needs the happy people that come on here but are ready to, 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 to put it all into a commitment for truth, right? To die on the battlefield of the little ego and its little nasty wants and selfishness. To die to that. And if we had to, to devour those things, you know, pull out our sword of wisdom and slash those foes and those doubts, man. You guys are fierce. That's what I'm saying. But right now, it's so still in the early dawn when the first light kisses my soul. And it's so still and so beautiful when the first light kisses my soul. Here we go. It's the dawning of my joy. It's the morning of my heart. 
It's the rise of the sun of love. It's the dawning of my joy. It's the morning of my heart. It's the rise of the sun of love. It's the dawning of our joy. This is the this is what 2017 and every minute and second after that unto eternity. This is what it all means, man. It's cosmic. Everything is cosmic. There's no small things. There's no random thing. Everything is a doorway to infinity. Everything is a doorway to knowing yourself as an immortal soul. Is that a beautiful gift of gifts? And it's you, baby. It's you 100%. There isn't anything that isn't absolutely genuinely cosmic about you. So it's the dawning of our joy. It's the morning of our heart, man. The morning, we're going to wake up and we're going to stay awake. We are awake, we are awake, we are awake. They asked the Lord Buddha once, are you a God or are you a man? And he said, I am awake. So it's the morning of our heart. And then we're going to do this, these things. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Why not? Oh, happy birthday. Glory, glory to you, Debbie. Glory to your soul. Man, you have, you have earth birthdays. But listen, you are always ever awake in the in the youthfulness of your undying spirit, man. You don't age. You are the fountain of youth, Debbie. You are an immortal soul. So so happy eternity. You know, we have, I, I come up with the, with the new words for the birthday song instead of happy birthday to you. So this goes this way. Because we, we as, as yogis, you know, we as uh, people who understand there's just life after life. And if you're not careful, if you don't learn, learn your lessons here, you come back to relearn them and it's the same grade and you get bored and frustrated and mad and angry and you want to kill people because you're so frustrated that you have to return and repeat and, and still don't get your lesson. But here's how the song goes. No more births for you. No more births for you. You're a child of the infinite. No more births for you. So happy eternity, Debbie. And happy eternity, everyone. How do you wake up? Well, sloth. <laughs> guru. We'll call you Guru. We'll call you Guru. Well, this is one way. Now, listen, I know we all want a quick fix, you know. Give me a pill to wake me up. Yeah. No, just hang out here, man. We go, we, we, could, we wake up the good old fashioned way. We earn it. <laughs> we just are so patient in being positive one second at a time, one breath at a time, my friend. <clears throat> Opening up to love one second at a time. Hanging out with, with, with positive people, joyous people. You know, a, a vibe that feels like truth in the deeper part of, of, of your questioning mind. That's how we wake up, brother. And we're self-loving and we're self-forgiving and we're self-patient. That's all. So hang with us for a while. You might feel a little better. And if you feel a little better than you were when you came on this channel this morning, then that is called waking up. All right? So be patient. Open your heart. Love. Receive love. Share the love. And sing with us. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the rise of the sun of love. We're only just celebrating. You know, some people will say, why glory, glory, that's some religion. And you get off that crap, man. <laughs> Would you get your mind, put it somewhere off your mind, put it on hold and say, I will come back to you, but I'm going to fill my heart with love now. And I'm not going to get all ruffled up because I don't like the way the word sounds right what is that what kind of peace is that in in it for you dude we have to end this year completely wiping the slate clean of our past and everything that we think we are and all the conditioning that we are in and all the chronic everything that we are chronic about some of us are just just chronic complainers we got to end it we're going to love it out of existence this morning right Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the rise of the sun of love. Here we go. It's the dawning of our joy. It's the morning of our heart. It's the rise of the sun of 
love It is the dawning of our joy It's the morning of our heart It's the rise of the sun of love Here we go, sing it Glory, glory, hallelujah Glory, glory, hallelujah It's the rise of the sun of love Because we're celebrating waking up and I'm telling you you know it's not gonna probably be a big oh I'm realized I'm you know it's gonna just be a little bit look for the little things they're cosmic my dear for some for you to be a little bit happier right now it's like a cosmic thing rejoice in it sing about because the more you focus on that the more you'll have of it you see let's focus on these little successes <laughs> You know, these little things that make us feel better. These little moments where you even think, ah, I'm lo ah, love, where you, where you go, I, bet I am love, I am love. You know, when you feel like the opposite, right? Or when you feel like just, you know, really crushing somebody with negativity. You just, I am peace, I am peace, you know. Those are victories, man. That's how, this is how we win this battle of life right there. This battle that wants to, to push us down and snuff us out and make us feel unworthy and undeserving and feel guilty and shame and put you behind bars and say you're no good and treat you like scum. <laughs> no. You're prince and princess of this universe, for heaven's sakes. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the right. Celebrate awakening. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the rise of the sun of night. Hey. It's the dawning of our joy. It's the morning of our hearts. It's the rise of the sun of love. It's the dawning of our joy. It's the morning of it's the rise of the sun of love. Celebrate with me, could you? Let's celebrate together, all our brothers and sisters on the planet. Because if you wake up, thousands and millions wake up with you. Change yourself and you change thousands. Control your destiny. Control your thoughts. Control your emotions. Harness them as soul reality. Know yourself as soul and you change the world, baby doll. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the rise of the sun of love. Come on, celebrate. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the rise. Just open yourself to the light right now. You are so loved. We are so loved. Love loves us. The universal love. Every breath you breathe in, you breathe in pure love. You know that? You do know that, don't you? And every time you breathe out, you, you are part of this universal love. So the love, the, the universal love breathes you. That's what's in the oxygen molecule. And as you breathe out, you are just part of this universal love. You see how that, do you see how beautiful, do you see how beautiful you are? My dear, oh, come on. That's my, this is my, this is my, my career. This is my mission on the planet. Is to wake myself up 
which I am a thousand percent committed to every moment, every day, so that I can maybe support you or spark you or encourage you to love you, to befriend you, so you realize how spectacularly beautiful you are. And that the love that loves everything and everyone unequivocally, unabashedly, unconditionally, I mean, it's zeroed in on you. Receive the love, bathe in the light, acknowledge, acknowledge that you are a transcendent soul. Ah, this is the end of the year. Of, a, of an old lifestyle. This is the end of a year of old mindsets. This is the end of a year from just being wishy-washy on the fence of life. Man, you go and be like Humpty Dumpty. You're going to fall to pieces if you, if you just sit on the fence, man. There's no more wishy-washiness. So really just make a choice either way, you know. Commit to something. Some people commit to the dark side, to commit to the self. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just, and that's fine, but at least they're committed. <laughs> but we're asking, we're asking, there's a big old SOS call on the planet. Spirit, oh spirit, help us earthlings. <laughs> SOS, phone home. Phone home, ED. Phone home. SOS, spirit, oh spirit, help us earthling, earthlings to commit to the truth, to the light, to the love, to the happiness, to who we really are. <laughs> uh, Guru, you're on it now, buddy. M60's on fire. Clark is breathing every breath. That's all she knows. It's a new beginning. That's all she knows. It's the present moment, man. <laughs> so what an example. Same with Marley. Say Marley Love, she's up there up north with my with Clark up there in southern Washington. Clark's in Seattle. And uh, boy, there's a love fest going on up there. Marley, we had a little something that was going to go on once you got something going. I understand. I don't really care, man. Because I know the love fest and the joy fest is going off in my heart like fireworks. So if I know that's happening and I know it's going off in all your hearts too. Because we are one. Actually, it's going off in the universe and that's all I'm tuning to. So if I tune to the universal fireworks of love ever increasing, ever exploding in my heart as new, new intuitions of love. Oh man, I love love. I love the newness and the intuitions of love. And then we all are we all are experiencing it together. I am the light of my soul. I'm powerful. I'm beautiful. I'm powerful. I'm beautiful. I am love. I am light. I I am the light of the soul. I'm powerful, beautiful, powerful, beautiful. I am love. I am light. I am love. I am light. Hey, listen. I'm on a world server. Come on, people of the world. Come on, earthlings. Come on, immortal souls. Wake up and let's sing together. Billions of souls right now singing together on a Twitch channel. A love song that identifies themselves with their true immortal soul nature. Come on, earthlings, come on, S-O-S, spirit, O oh, spirit, send a lightning bolt straight into our heart centers and explode the delusion, explode the ignorance so we don't even remember our old chronic complaining, whining, angry, little, not even real ego nature. Ah, boom, ah. Blast it! 
blasted. We just, we just, spirit just heard our SOS, man. Woo! Hey, oh, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. We just called out to spirit, oh, spirit, an SOS to just send a lightning bolt into the heart of every being on this planet. Because you know what? Who's inside the heart anyway is spirit. <laughs> hey, spirit. Right in here. Oh, man. So we're going to have faith. Look it. It ain't your heart. It's a spirit heart. I am spirit heart. Marley, you got it. I'm spirit heart. Debbie, you got that. I'm spirit heart. Spirit lives in the side of each of us in the heart center. It really does. Spirit is in the side as the beloved of every heart. Woo! Yay for us. Spirit are us. I am the light of my soul. What are we? We're powerful. Really? Beautiful. Uh-huh. Powerful. Beautiful. I are one with all. All is one. So, you know, we might be 24 on this little channel in terms of physicality, but you know, we are billions. We are billions. One. One. There is no separation between you and me. Can you imagine that realization coming soon to a heart near you, yours? is the realization that the light and the love is always with you. This is why we can live transcendently, baby. All the near-death experiences, you know, they talk about, Woo, wow, who's that dude on the floor all cut up and bleeding and broken apart? Woo, wow, whoa, it's me. <laughs> hey, oh yeah? And then this big light and love just encompasses you, the soul, the transcendent soul. You're not the body. You're not the mind. You're not the emotions. And you're in this transcendent light and love. So Marley, I mean, it makes total sense that we as souls can be transcendent. We don't have to live in ignorance. No more, no more, no more. Let's hit the road, Jack. And don't, us come, don't let us come back no more. We're done with the chronic pain. We're, we're done with the chronic conditioning. Oh my gosh, I'm a transcendent soul right now. Oh, you know, listen, if you're going to see the review f film of your life anyway when you transition at this thing called so-called death, and you watch your movie, and you watch it from the seat of the arms of love, and you watch and just to see if you, so you get your learnings, you see that everything was love, you were being loved, but we, you know, we're still in kindergarten and we're still sh just shooting spit wads. <laughs> you know, to each other, you know. We're still bullying people on the playground, so to speak. And you're in the arms of love and you go, okay, I get it. Next time I'm going to do better. <laughs> I get it. I'm the love, right? Well, why don't we, Clark, listen. Guru, listen. Hey, Zeus, listen. Debbie and Maya G, listen. As you go about today, just lift, go inside your soul. Go inside your soul. We're practicing being soul this morning. Transcendent grace, transcendent soul, transcendent love, transcend. Yet it's in the atoms too. So it's not like, you know, you're a you airy fairy, man. No, you're more grounded in the eternal light and the eternal principles than you could ever imagine. Ground yourself in the truth. But just as you go about the scene, just realize one day you're going to watch the scene that you're in, but now you have the awakening consciousness. So why don't you walk through scenes today, do your day, but be the transcendent soul that's embraced in the big love that's loving you as you go about your scene. So then... From here on out, the rest of the movie of this life, Clark, we're going to get to the other side and we're going to go, wow, I got it. I got it. On, on, on December 31st in the year 2016, I woke up. I got it. Thanks to all those brothers and sisters on the Love Force Revolution Love Channel who are holding so much trust and faith and, and, and goodness and, and, you know, respect for everyone that I woke up and from that moment on, you know, I never walked on this planet the same way. I never thought the same way again. In fact, I cloistered my mind into the center of the spirit heart. Cloister. You know, put this thing, cloister it, put it in this big old cosmic spirit heart of yours and let it get finally quiet and at peace.
cloistered, you know, living a, like a humble nun or a humble monk, cloistering the mind, and all is, ah, 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 all right, my dear, here you go, and you stick it into this beautiful heart. This is what happens today in the end of 2016, December 31st, baby right? And then we're going to watch every scene of our life today from the transcendence of our true nature as an immortal soul. Come on, you got to admit, this is really cool stuff. <laughs> you got to admit, right? <laughs> right? All right. So uh, let's sing that song again and just bathe, the, bathe this moment right now. You are already encompassed in the love. You are already love, okay? And just watch your thoughts and watch your feelings and watch yourself like you just slipped out of your body and you're on the ceiling. <laughs> Watching with such love and compassion this, 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 this person. Whatever it is, this character. One master once called humans divine animals. <laughs> we do have an animal nature, you know. <laughs> divine animals. But we're going to wake up and then realize we're not a, an animal at all. We are divine and you can erase the animal. <laughs> but until we wake up, that's not a bad way to look at humans, divine animals. I am my soul. Powerful, beautiful. I'm powerful. I'm beautiful. I I love your spirit. I know you, my brother. I know you, my sisters. I know you because I know myself. I know that I'm not this body which beholds only changes in this mind that is just like these thoughts. I'm not the thoughts and I'm not the feelings either. I know that we are something special. Reddit, I love your spirit, buddy, because I love mine. Spread the love ASAP. You couldn't say anything more powerful than that. And love is a magnet for more love. And Clark is already this big old cosmic magnet attracting to her soul all souls who are in need of love. And they come to find sanctuary in Clark's magnet. In her heart magnet. Wizzy the elephant. Love force all the way to 2017. Love force it in. We're going to love out the rest of this year. We're going to love, 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 love. The rest of the, every minute of this 2016, and we're going to be blessed to have unceasing love pouring through our heart center in 2017, Wizzy the Elephant. Good job, Wiz. You're right on time, buddy. I'm telling you, you are one blessed, beautiful soul. So is Guru. So is Reddit. So is Gilo. Woo! So are all our brothers and sisters on the planet. It's the year of love. I also call it the year of truth, Wizzy. So check out my Gita study, G-I-T-A-S-T-U-D-Y dot com. I start up another serious love ninja program on Jan 3rd, buddy. That's Tuesday. Gita study dot com. Write that out for us, Clark. Write it out. Type it out. Put it up on the, on the stream. Oh, there's stuff happening in 2017 that will, will knock your socks off and definitely blow your mind out of any of its limiting, any of its chronic depressions and chronic thoughts. Oh yeah, baby. I am that I am that I am of all. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I am that I am, and I'm all that I am. I am love, I am light. I am that I am, and I'm all that I am. I am love, I am light. Come on, affirm. I am that I am, I'm all that I am. I am love, I am light. I am that I am.
that love and light in. You see, we just breathe it. We receive it. We bathe in it. We, 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 we establish ourselves in the transcendent truth of that, you see. And then being above the thoughts, so to speak, being above wanting to be addicted to every emotional knee-jerk reaction that you have in your fickled emotions with whatever those emotional likes and dislikes are, we can stay removed from it. You see, this detachment is is the name of the game of being happy, this detachment. Separate your dream imperfections from your perfect self. Separate, all right? Who you are not from who you are. Clean cut. Pull out your sword of wisdom. Clean cut. Separate your dream imperfections and the two and the Sanskrit word there is neti means not this. So if you do two netis, neti neti, not this, not that. <laughs> Sanskrit it means not this, not that. I'm not those dream imperfections. But then I am that I am, and I'm all that I'm. I am. I am love. I am light. So you separate out, clean cut, man. Because we're in a duality. We're all Dr. Jekylls and Mr. Hydes. We are all bipolar. We are all special need. And we're all disabled as a human. We're divine animals. Most people are behaving like animals. We here are waking up to the divine side. Right? It's, it's black or white, man. Choose today. This is a day of total commitment. And I believe you guys have chosen. You have all chosen. You have made the call. You have made the so call. Actually, spirit has hit that, send that lightning bolt into your heart and blessed you, baby. <laughs> Amazing grace has touched your heart and touched your soul. Right? That's what happened. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saves the soul. A soul like me I once was lost But now I'm found I once was blind But now I see Thank you, thank you Amazing grace Thank you, thank you I love you Thank you, thank you, amazing grace. So love you, amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saves a soul, a soul. is love, right? Amazing grace is light, right? 
Amazing grace is the truth, right? We are the truth. Amazing grace is you and me waking up. We can't do it on our own. We send chronic SOSs. Spirit, oh spirit, help me. <laughs> Phone home. I'll tell you, that E.T. movie was pretty good. Oh, Ian. Woo, good evening and happy new year. Man, you're going to have a, you're going to be in the new year before us, Ian. Sapo, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna forge the trail. You're gonna bring so much love into the new year before we get to our new year, because it's just morning here. And when we get there, you're gonna be there with the flag of, with the flag of truth waving, and all these great beings and all this love and light, man. Thank you, thank you. I just said, thank Quan is hosting us. Wow. It's a quan raid. Well, whatever, as long as we open our hearts and minds and just have a big old love fest here. Venkata. V-N-K-T-A. Sorry for the misprint. Plague! Woohoo! Do you know this dang quan raid? I guess so, Plague. Anyway, we love everybody. We're so happy that we're ending this year on such a high note. I mean, really a soul level. We had another level on this station, right? We come here and it's a higher vibe sequency. Hey, been a while. Laxmer, welcome. Unicorn raid. Whatever is the raid, it's woohoo time, right? Hooked you up, Tom. All right, nice. Thank you. I'm so glad. Hey, we all are needed. We all are needed because it's going to be a great raid on the darkness. <laughs> There's going to be a great raid on the ignorance. It's going to be a great raid on people being really mad and angry, right? And it's not that we can do anything, but be the compassion, be the love, be the light, right? No, I'm on the love drugs. I do nosery. <laughs> Sorry about the pronunciation. I do. Uh, no, I'm on the love drug. I'm high on my soul, my friend. The title of this thing is called Transcendence. Our soul is transcendent grace. The who you really are is one with the universe. And so it transcends all this duality. We're in a realm of duality, right? Night and dark, good and bad, hatred and love, health and sickness. Got it, right? We have dual personalities here. We're all bipolar. We're all Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Hello, Mickey Light. Woo! Keep asking you, Mickey. Sign up for New Year. I, I mean, for the Gita study, Mickey, I haven't seen that yet. Come on, we're in this together, you know, we had a commitment. Lifetimes ago, Mickey, we did. We signed in blood. We signed in spirit blood, Mickey. You can't redo that. You can't renegotiate the soul contract that you have your soul has with the infinite. That's not that's not renegotiable, baby. How about oneness with bliss? How does that sound? Huh? Right? Bipolar and proud. I know him, 60. Well, you're more proud by being humble, bud. <laughs> All right. Yay, Mickey. Woo! You go, girl. We go, right? This is why we're in each other's lives. Sat Chit Ananda. Sat Chit Ananda. Hey, Clark, did you ever write that for me down? Type up the GitaStudy.com and while you're at it, write down Sat, S-A-T, Chit, C-H-I-T, Ananda, A-N-A-N-D-A, -A -A, which means ever conscious, ever existing, ever new bliss. Sanskrit is the most powerful language. It's the oldest language, right, of all. Do you love everyone no matter? Yes, because their doing and their outer whatever, the way they think and believe has nothing to do with this transcendent soul. So Dafu, I'm telling you, we just made a big old, took out our sword of wisdom and we slashed apart the two sides of us, our dream imperfections, which is all the negative and all the stuff we see in this world of duality. And we put the, the imperfect self and then we focus on the perfect self, which is the soul. And we're going to just turn to the light, buddy. We're going to see the light side of everybody because everyone is a transcendent soul. Everything is made of light. You see, everything is made of love. So we don't make the light and the love wrong. It's just, and we don't condone the behavior. Obviously, we focus on the light side, you know. But we don't make someone wrong. We don't, we got to separate out their true nature of soul from their action, do you see? But for the grace of, from the, but for the grace of love and source, there go us. You know what I'm saying, man? So great question. Thank you for that. Even if I'm telling you, you let your mind get involved, whatever is the action, 
We don't condone it. No, that's of course in this realm it's a horrible thing, right? We'd much rather have everyone go and get along with one another, right? But you have to know still, hold out, that they are an immortal going through their learning, man. So, yes, to say on both ways, it's got total compassion, total not condoning the action, but total realizing that light is underneath this duality, underneath this the darkness. This darkness comes from light, and that's what I focus on. So I make nobody wrong. I don't care, even the worst evildoer. Listen, as soon as someone turns to... Thank you, Clark. Woo! Thank you, Clark. As soon as someone turns to the light, even if you are the most despicable terrorist that's killed thousands and thousands and thousands of children and have a market going on for those young, beautiful souls, even the moment you turn to the divine light, everything is, everything is different, okay? So we're holding out for even the darkest of the dark comes from the light anyway. Will one day, I promise you, turn towards the light. The most important thing, my brother, is that we turn to the light. <laughs> right? That we turn to the light. Like lickety split. Don't waste time. Turn towards the light of your soul. This is what happens on the last day of December 31st, 2016. We make a big shift. There's the Satchitananda. I can't put deletes the link. Oh, the Gita study, you did it good. Clark, it's up there. Good job. Weston Guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, the bot, the bot timed you out yesterday. I'm sorry for the bot. You're always welcome here, my soul brother. Always welcome here. So, Satchitananda, Satchitananda, I am bliss. So, come on. We're going to end on a bang for 2016. Let's affirm we are bliss, right? Hey, leave the punishment up to the Creator, Daffa. Who are you? Who are you to met out punishment? Their actions, the karma of their actions will be punishment enough for them. But you let the one who created this mess deal with giving punishment to people. Come on, Daffa. Who the hell are we to give punishment to our brothers and sisters? You want some, some human to give, give you the verdict that you are all messed up? Come on. No. We too busy, my brother, making the change towards the light within ourselves. <laughs> all right. Good questions. I love your question, bro. Mr. Uris is losing my... And what do you think? Come on, Mr. Uris. We're a, come on, focus on love right now. Leave that question for later. Come on. Open your heart. Open your heart. When you're feeling more love and light, you'll know exactly what is the best thing for you to do, Mr. Uris. Okay? There's higher things to focus on, my brother. I mean, that's a question. But right now, we go for the highest here. Yeah, I love the soul of all beings, whirlwind. Now, come on. This isn't a debate. End of debate. Let's focus on the bliss. Thank you for your questions. I honor your questions. I know you're brilliant. But listen, now is the time to open up to love because once you feel the love, you're going to know that everything is love. Okay? Everything is love. Everyone's forgiven. Thank God. Judge no one, man. Judge no one. What a waste of friggin' time. If you want to make yourself miserable, go ahead and keep judging. But we're not here about mystery. We're about Satchitananda, Satchitananda. I am bliss. We are bliss. Satchitananda, Satchitananda. We are bliss. We are bliss. We are bliss. Satchitananda. As Hitler, as that role, there's villains and there's heroes in this duality. We all play a role. I know your little mind can go, rah, 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 rah. but Hitler's gone. There's just his soul evolving, evolving. 
evolving, all right? So let's, let's get off of our human chronic condition, judgmental minds. Gone for 2016, lightning bolt has just hit you in the heart and all you know is bliss, baby. All you know is love, baby. Satchidananda, Satchidananda, I am bliss, I am bliss. Satchidananda, Satchidananda, we are bliss, we are bliss, we are bliss. Satchidananda, we are bliss. Satchidananda. in its ugliest, in its ugliest manifestation when we judge another brother and sister on this planet. Mm. We are this Satchitananda. Telling you, we don't mess around on December 31st. Guess what? We don't mess around on January 1st. We don't mess around ever. So, okay, Daffa, listen, man. You can just, we're going to put you in the love corner, my brother. Good question, but we're going to just time you out and let everyone love you, buddy, so you can just get so drunk with love that you have a moment of peace, okay? Listen, I'm going off to teach yoga, my dear brothers and sisters. Hello, Joe Meister. Woo! Jungling too, God. Woo! So much love here, so much light. Plabe Central, you don't have to be religious to think of the outer body thing. It doesn't have to be. I know. So you you make sure Daph is okay, Plabe. All right? You have a real mission. You have a real role here as a mod. Right? You make sure everybody, because you, you understand at a really great level, brother, your brothers and sisters. So thank you for that, Plabe. Whirlwind. I only judge those. That, <laughs> hey, blessings to you, Whirlwind. Everybody, all I know is that <sighs> love is and now I'm going off to teach yoga so love out for now and I'll see you New Year's tomorrow I start at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and what we pick up from the high point of today and we soar on day one of the happiest greatest most productive most successful most ah transcendent year of all of our lifetimes how does that sound to everybody huh i mean you decide what you want to focus on baby here we keep focusing on better and better and better and better god bless you kilo guru <laughs> i love you man clark I love you more than anything in this world. I love you all more than anything in this world. This world is in a duality. Love is in a transcendent, everlasting light. Glory, glory, hallelujah. You know, you know, it's the dawning of our joy. It's the morning of our hearts. It's the rise of the sun of love. And the love force revolution.